This time let's use the major six diminished one, which was the extra note, the extra A flat one. Hi, this is Sean, and in this lesson, I'm going to show you one of the earliest moves that Barry Harris showed me, moving through a major scale and then turning it into the major six diminished, which has one extra note, and what you could do with it as well. Please make sure you're subscribed and you've hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new content. Please do give us a like, and if you've got something good to say, a positive comment as well. It's really helping us to grow so we can do more of this for you. Without further ado, let's get into the lesson. So first of all, just taking chords through a major scale, very, very simple like this. What we're going to do is take two notes in the left hand, we'll take the C and the G down the bottom, and then the remaining notes, the E and the B, will be up the octave like this. Okay, so just get good at splitting up chords like this. One good thing about this sort of shape is that you can get much lower down the piano. So there seems to be this myth that you never play low down because it's the bass player's area. So in a tune like All The Things You Are, you can actually play that one shape on every chord and just add the melody note to the top. If that's too hard for you at the moment, it doesn't matter. But just to show that you can use these low down the piano, and they're really good for that. And in fact, this is an area that we're gonna fill because we would sit on there on that C major seven for two bars. So one of the first things that he showed us was just take that shape and be able to go up the piano. I'm just gonna use simple fingers, the five and the one, the one and the five. So I'm talking about fingers there, not notes, right? So we've got the root fifth here of the chord, the third and seventh of the chord here. Just going through the scale. I recommend keeping those shapes in your hand what I call loosely locked. <laughs> in other words, you're not reconfiguring your fingers every time there's a chord, you're just keeping them in a shape, but that also doesn't mean that it's a rigid hand, right? So another thing you can do is take one, five, three, seven, three. So we just double the third and take that through the scale. Love the sound of these chords. And you can practice them going down as well, of course. Jump in there. <laughs> okay, now on to a little bit of movement. So let's take that first one where we had the one, five, the three, seven. And we're just going to move the seven down a scale step in C major, that's all. And do that on every step. So, so far, these are just major scale moves, which are great. Do also practice them down. And of course, different keys would be great. I don't feel that everything has to be 12 keys. I know a lot of people do feel that way. I feel if it's more than one key, that's a great start. I think a lot of people slow themselves down by feeling it has to be 12 or nothing. I don't particularly feel that way. I think you can have a slightly easier time, but that's my experience. Okay, another thing you could do is keep that move and then go down a half step and back. So we've kept the seven moving down a scale step. Now we're moving down a half step and back up. On the D minor, it'll be the same thing. So the seventh of D minor moving down the scale, half step and back. Let's do the rest. Hope you see what's happening. Down a scale step, half step. Scale step, half step. And back to the beginning. things could be done with a third at the top as well, doubled, so I've got two thirds here. Harder on the fingering as you can see in the middle, but you figure it out, right? 
the trick is to try and still get a legato sound so it doesn't end up like this. You can use a little pedal. You can see my pedal button in the corner of the screen. Okay, those are major scale moves. Now let's see the equivalent for those who know the major six diminished scale from Barry Harris that I teach elsewhere on the channel, so I won't go right to the beginning of it. In summary, what we get is we keep all the C major scale notes, but we add the A flat in there, okay? And now, if we look at the chords in there, the first chord we get, I'll just do a little bit of summary, is actually a C6. The next one is D diminished. The next one is C6, inverted. Next one is F diminished, inverted, etc. And you keep getting C6s, D diminished, inverted, C6s, D diminished, etc. So if we did the same thing in one hand and moved the top note, this time we'll move the top note like that, like we had it before. Before, when we did it, this was, a, this was a chord note on C major 7, moving down. Now it's a kind of moved note, coming back to a chord note, right? And we'll do it on the diminished as well. And we'll do it on every chord. Some of these are a bit of a reach. I've got to cheat with some fingers, with my little hands anyway. If you've got massive hands, then fair enough. <laughs> Maybe you've got a nicer way to do it. Okay, if I show you the same thing where the hands are split, one five in the left, the remaining notes, the three and the six, up top, first thing to do is just get good at doing this through the scale, right? Which can be hard enough itself. Let me do that one more time. Let's see if you can follow what's happening. These are C6 notes. There's the one, three, five, six. Here's the D diminished. One, three, the uh, flat five, and the, what we call a double flat seven. These are all C6 notes. These are all D diminished notes, etc. But really, each note's just moving up the scale anyway, because every note is moving up the scale in this configuration. So this one is going because remember the scale has that A flat. The E is going. You know, so all the notes are moving through the scale. Okay, so here's the movement. Just the top note moving. Some people think this one is wrong. It's not. It can actually be really pretty. Maybe we'll explore it another time. <laughs> so let's say we've got all the things you are. Now we're coming up to that long C major 7. So, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This time, Let's fill it up with some of those. Here's the major scale one. Before the chord change. Okay, this time let's fill it up with a different one. It's quick. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that without holding the third and I'll be able to do it better. Okay, this time let's use the major six diminished one, which was the extra note, the extra A flat one. They all give us time fills, and for me they're not four different chords, it's one chord moved through a scale. We do plenty more of this in more depth on jazz skills if you're interested in more, plus a developing fluency course to get you fluent in the language to begin with, improvisation, tunes, movements, voicings, a vibrant community and help from me. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one. Bye for now.